Hello, and welcome to Yes TV, your Evergreen Schools Television, a show that keeps you informed on the programs, activities, and academic achievements of your Evergreen Schools. On today's show, we'll learn about a grant-funded, hands-on project that teaches students about local history through archaeology. Students at Pioneer Elementary are really digging their social studies class. As Susan Kiplinger shows us, they're getting their hands dirty and learning important lessons about Vancouver's past as they become artifact detectives. This might not look like a course in social studies, archaeology, science and history, but for Janet Dondelinger's fourth grade class at Pioneer Elementary, that's exactly what it is. A chance to learn about Vancouver's rich past by studying some of the everyday items used by Vancouverites from 1870 through 1920. The project, launched by the Clark County Historical Museum, is funded by a grant. It partners two Clark County teachers with a community archaeologist to develop a curriculum, plus prototype educational kits for students in grades 4 through 12. The project features non-culturally sensitive items excavated during construction of the Vancouver Convention Center and Hilton Hotel near Esther Short Park downtown. Archaeologist Jessica Hale, who worked with Janet Dondelinger and Tyler Morgan of Camas High School to develop the curriculum, says hands-on learning is a rich experience and brings the past to life. I think it's a really great thing for kids to have a tactile feel for something. Um, learning about history can be somewhat mundane. Um, just learning from history books and only hearing lectures from your teachers, actually physically touching an artifact um, gives it a little bit more um, like special sense and you just like it more and you can actually understand um, about the people better and I don't know, it's just, it, you doing things makes it a lot more interesting. The everyday items, which include pieces of china, bowls, medicine bottles, and toys, allows the students to learn about the culture, trade, and travel of the people of Vancouver. It also teaches them about the science of archaeology and the role it plays in learning history. Dondelinger says the course touches on many subject areas and broadens the children's experience. I'm just so delighted that every one of them got in and got to handle the things, got to think about it and talk about it and clean them. Um, they are also journaling their learning vocabulary that goes with it. Um, we'll be doing some writing about it. Um, this afternoon we're going to integrate an art project with the artifacts. So I see it spreading across uh, the curriculum. Michaela Woods says she was excited to learn about archaeology and the artifacts. I was really excited because I haven't, I don't really know what archaeologists do and, and I really wanted to learn about artifacts and how they dig them up and stuff and so yeah I was really excited about it. I want to get to um, find my own things and, and get to brush them off and, and know that I found them. Genevieve Grayhack, who says she's wanted to be an archaeologist since the second grade, couldn't wait to get started. Well, I was really excited because I did a play last year about archaeology, and I wanted to learn more about it, so I was really um, excited, and I couldn't wait for it to come. The course also gives the students a chance to learn more about their teacher and classmates by bringing in personal items from home, allowing them to make conclusions and conduct research just like a real scientist. The other day we were talking about um, some artifacts that we had, I had brought from home that were just old things, and they did measurement, and recorded their measurement. So they're starting to think like a scientist, they're doing recording and writing, and I just see it's, it's like a ripple that's spreading outward. As the students identify and record their findings about the artifacts into their archaeology notebooks, they learn not only about how to identify, catalog and make conclusions, but to see how an archaeologist thinks and works. It's a whole like process of deductive thinking, of learning how to um, be a scientist, a scientific method, um, observing things and trying to let go of some of their own biases as well. They're really smart, you know, I, mean, I, I was not expecting them to have such interesting questions and they were, you know, really interested in the profession and um, the types of artifacts that, you know, I find just on a day-to-day -day basis. 
the unit opens their eyes to what came before them and puts a piece of Vancouver history right in their own hands. I learned that, well, some things are different, like, from a long time ago than now, and there's a big, big change from how it was then and then now. It's exciting to know that people lived here before us. Well, I love history and seeing what, what um, there was back then. They're learning that, you know, you're not the first person to live in Vancouver. It has a long history. It's a wonderful place to live. People have thought that for such a long time, and let's find out more. The curriculum and classroom kits that the teachers in Hale prepared will be used throughout the school year, and the hope is that the museum will receive an even bigger grant so that more students throughout Clark County will get the chance to become artifact detectives. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us. As always, if you have any suggestions or comments for our show, give us a call at 604-4025, and we'll see you next time right here on Yes TV.